This question says, a car is approaching a set of traffic lights. The traffic lights turn red. It takes the car four seconds to slow down to a stop. Here is the speed time graph for the five seconds until the car stops. So five seconds until it stops. It takes four seconds to stop. So if I look at this, it goes, that goes up to five seconds. At, in five seconds time, the speed is zero. At the beginning, the speed was 20. For one second, it stayed at 20, and then actually, yes, it takes it takes four seconds to slow down all the way down to a stop. The question wants us to work out an estimate for the distance the car travels in these five seconds. So this is a speed time graph, and the distance that a car travels, or anything in a speed time graph, is the area under the graph. So I need to work out the area. At this point, you should know you should be thinking about exactly how to work this out. You should be really familiar with this. It's the area under the graph, and we're going to use trapeziums to work it out. The challenge in this question that the examiners have given you is that you have this flat bit here. So this first section is a rectangle, and I can easily work out the area of that rectangle. I'm going to split it up into strips for every second. So I'm going to do five strips altogether. That's the first one. Here's the second one, the third, and the fourth, and then the fifth. Okay, so these are my five strips I need to work out the area of. The first one is pretty straightforward, but let's label up some points over here. This point here is going to be 20. If I come down to this corner here, this point here is going to be 10. Right, This point here, work across, it's going to be 5. Now, at this point here, I don't know exactly what it is, but I need to read the scale carefully. There are 10 tiny squares that go from 0 to 5. So every 2 is going to stand for 1. So that's 1, and that's 2 there. And that takes me straight across to there, which is 2. Okay, Make sure you're looking at this and you understand it well. So this is a pretty standard question. You need to be able to do this. Well, let's work out the area of each of these. And I'm going to split it up. Right. So the first block, let's work out its area. Second, third, fourth, label them up. So actually, you can do your workings on the side with reference to each. So that's my reference point. The first block, the area of a rectangle, it's 1 times 20. The length and width, all right, so its area is 20. The second block, we're going to use the area for trapezium for this. So these, each of these strips here are trapezia, right? The first one has a height of 20. The next one has a height of 10. Remember, the formula for the area for trapezium is a half AB times H. So a half times 20 plus 10 times how wide it is, it's one wide. And you do that workings out. You could plug that into your calculator. Or you could work it out using like just looking at it because it is pretty straightforward. That's 15. The next one, a half of 10 plus 15 times 1. Okay. And again, working that out, that should give us 7.5. The next one, a half of 5 plus 2, and times that by 1, and that's going to be 3.5. And then the last shape at the end here, if you look at that, that's not quite a trapezium. It is a triangle. The height of that triangle is 2. The base of that triangle is 1, right? So a half base times height, okay? And that gives us 1. Now, so the area of the whole thing, I need to add up all of those values. Right, and that gives me 47. And that's pretty straightforward there. That's my answer. You do need to be able to do this, and you should be able to, to annotate the graph, go through the steps that I've done to be able to get all the marks here. It's pretty straightforward, as you can see. Going on to part B, it says, is your answer to part A an underestimate or an overestimate of the actual distance tra the, the car travels? So if we go back here, these extra little bits above the curve right this tells us that the area that we've worked out is actually a bit larger a bit more than the area under the curve because we've added on these extra bits okay so you need to think about that and so if i go back to the question is your answer an underestimate or an overestimate of the actual distance and give a reason for your answer well it's an overestimate as the area found using the trapeziums is more than the area under the graph those extra strips those extra little bits give you an area more than the area under the graph and this is sufficient to get full marks in this question definitely make sure you're okay with this this is a new topic and it's very likely that you get asked this in your final exams